Hi, hello, and welcome to Auto Posting Tools. Um, today, I'm going to show you how the Facebook uh, posting software works. So, if you go to autopostingtools.com and get the software, you will get something like this. So, basically, it's the software that we use with multiple modules. Uh, each one does uh, different things. So in this case, we're going to go to the Facebook module. Here in the Facebook, we choose fan page posting. You can also comment on groups and you can do a lot of stuff with it. So just click on Facebook fan page posting. So this is going to open up and basically this is what it show up. So the first, uh, the first thing you will see is that you have multiple tabs, my accounts, comments, the fan pages where we are going to be posting, the web browser and the results, which doesn't matter that much. It's just to like place content temporarily, just so it does stuff. So the first thing you do is you add your accounts. In this case, I just will do it with one account just to show you how it works. You copy the email, then you paste the 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 password there, and you add it to the list. So in this case, this we don't need it anymore. So here in this account, basically, uh, you could add multiple accounts to comment on Facebook. In this case, we are going to use the same account just to show you how it will start posting to the accounts. Just so we select this account and then with this button, depending on which account you selected, it's going to go to this list to continue posting. So I just click add selected and the account was select added here. So I will just add it multiple times so because it's going to be commenting with the same account. In this case, you want to add multiple accounts and you select uh, the different accounts here. So they, whenever it's posting, it's going to rotate. Uh, another thing is that you should use fake accounts. So if the if the account gets a uh, ban or like you you might lose the account. So uh, I don't want you to use your real account so you don't lose them. So just keep that in mind. So you see that I ha it's going to have three accounts here, and I can select the account and move it up and down to 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 use the or the different order that I want these accounts to post to. The next thing is to use uh, my comments. Uh, so in this case. You you can show uh, comments from this campaign. Whenever you create new campaigns, you can add them, uh, and also you can show the campaigns. Here you click on Add New, and here you add your comment. In this case, you will uh, add uh, your comment. In this case, this supports spin syntax. So visit my website. And then you put the website that you that you wanna them to visit http two dot slash slash uh, free training uh, now dot net and but you could just uh, make it uh, a lot uh, longer like you you can write more stuff than this so remember each line is one option for the mail spinner so. Visit my website, then you can just check out my website. Then uh, this website is awesome. And then you just paste the website. So these are multiple variations of the website. And you just generate the spin text and you paste it there. So every time it posts, it posts a different version as you can see here. So the only thing that you copy is the spin text and you paste it there and you could add more content if you wanted to uh, just will do it this way just because it's faster. Uh, whenever you create a new campaign, it's going to show up here. So you select the campaign that you wanted to add and then you add it to the list. Uh, so basically you could add, you could add multiple, um, multiple um, comments. Uh, this is a test. And then you add it to the list, and well, basically you have uh, multiple comments promoting your stuff. And whenever uh, this thing start posting, it's going to pick up uh, the comments randomly and start posting them on Facebook. Okay. Uh, so the next step is to import your fan pages. Uh, I already did this step. In this case, you have to do it. Check my fan page scraper. You 
just follow the instructions here on the tutorial click the tutorial and it's going to show you how to do that i already did it so i'm just going to import the list of my of my accounts the marketing uh, pages that i chose so these are like five or six different marketing uh, uh, pages that uh, uh, that I I'm going to be commenting on. So here you will choose how many comments per account you want. In this case it's going to be changing the account so uh, you could post uh, with multiple accounts instead of just one. And finally, uh, you you are done. You are set you, you set up everything you need to start posting. So you set up your accounts, the order that you want to post. You select your uh, comments, the ones that you want to use. Uh, in, in this case, uh, you can select the by campaign. So you select the campaign that you created, and then show uh, the comments from campaign. So only from that list is going to be chosen. And finally, you import your fan pages. So the only thing left is to start commenting. So uh, you will go to here and start commenting. And this is going to log in and it's going to start commenting uh, for you with the account that uh, we we chose. So we finally click here and start commenting. And then this is going to log in into the account that we uh, have into our uh, my accounts, the first one. And then it's going to go and start commenting on those pages. So you click login, it's going to log in, and then it's going to go to the pages that we have on our fan pages. Uh, this one we want to skip it because it's just a, fan, a page that doesn't have uh, comments. So it's going to go to the next page. So now it's going to the next page and then it's going to go to the first post and it's going to write a comment. This is a previous test that I was doing, so it's going to write another one there. So it went to the post and now it's going to type the it's going to type the content. This is a test. So then it's going to go to the next one and then it's going to log out and then it's going to log back in again with the next account. In this case, it's because I was doing some testing before. Uh, basically, it's going to do five accounts and then it's going to switch to a different account. Here is uh, what you're seeing that is changing to the next account. So now it's going to go to the next account. It's going to log in and then it's going to go to a different fan page. So now it logged in. It's going to go to the next fan page. And then it's going to start commenting on the post of this person. So just scroll down. And you will see that it's going to select the post there. So it selects the, the, the section where it's going to start posting. Then it make, uh, this is a test. And uh, basically that is the way it's going to continue doing and then it's going to continue posting uh, the different um, the different posts that we have there. So we have there, this is a test, then it's going to continue posting. So basically I'm just going to stop this. You see that it goes through the fan pages that we have here and then it's going to continue posting there and it's going to uh, uh, post the different things from here randomly so that way it, it will uh, post for you so i just stop here right now so i click on pause commenting so it's not going to continue posting and then it's going to continue posting for all the other the other places here so this is the way it works. Uh, thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.